BED is very, very easy to diagnose yourself because I mean, if you sit there and you're eating huge, large, like I'm talking to the point of illness and you still keep eating, that's binging. So, I'm just like so full and I just feel so disgusted with myself. Um, <sighs> the regret is real. Um, and you as well, I just don't feel like I binge. You, you know what I love about Amber is that she perfectly diagnoses her problems herself and then she'll go back on it and say she doesn't do it very, very frequently. Or she'll say it's not a big deal. Depending on the time, but ten, depending on the season, our girl consistently lies about things and I don't know why. It's not like people can't go back and see the literally hours and hours and hours, tens of hours of documented evidence that she puts out herself to try to convey this information. It, it, to me, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't know why she does this so frequently. And you know what's really crazy too? Is that she'll sit there and she'll say that she doesn't do something. And then you'll see a video of her going, guys, today I'm going to do it. I'm going to binge today. And it's gonna be literally insane. It's gonna be like, I'm gonna eat so much food today and it's not something I wanna do. And I'm just sitting here watching her say that, thinking, how can you, how can you say you don't wanna do it? and then you're gonna do it. It's one thing to have something occur and you don't know what's happening or transpiring or you're doing it in the act and you, you regret it later on, right? But then to sit there and before you even do it and then go, I don't wanna do it, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm doing it, dude, it is what it is. That's crazy to me because you know that it's bad. You know that it's not something you should be doing and yet you're, 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 you're realizing this beforehand and you're telling me you're still gonna do it. I, it's just something about it to me just screams, what is wrong with you? Like, how can you do that, bro? It's one thing to have it occur in the middle of it, be like doing it while you're, while you're, while it's transpiring. But to even, to say that stuff way before it even transpires is crazy. And I'm just starting to like see it more clearly now because like, I don't think I've ever wanted to look further deeper into, hey, is this binging or is this just a food addiction? I think it's either way, it's not good. I mean, you don't want to be addicted to food because to, to be honest, food is first and foremost fuel. And I feel like mostly everybody should be looking at it as like, I'm not saying you can't enjoy your food. Go ahead and enjoy your food. I'm sure it's great to put it in your mouth and same things such as so forth. But if you're like fundamentally destroying the entire idea of what your body should be looking like for the deliciousness, the, the, the delectableness of food, I don't know why you would do that. I get it. Like Amberlynn has an actual problem with this stuff, but the way she the way she goes about it is literally like if somebody was a crack fiend or somebody that was a crackhead or somebody that had a very bad addiction to drugs was telling you, "I am addicted to drugs. I'm addicted to it all the time. I know it's I know it's bad. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop doing it." But not today. But not today. I'm not going to stop today at all. And then the next week go, "I'm not even addicted to drugs at all. Like I've never been addicted to drugs." I don't even know what that even is. Personally speaking, I could never be addicted to drugs. And the next we go, I'm addicted to drugs, guys. It's crazy. I'm addicted to drugs. That's Amber Lynn, week to week to week to week to week. She does it too consistently, dude. And it's, it's not fine, but it's also something like, if you're okay with acknowledging it, that's a step forward. I don't know why she consistently acknowledges that she has this problem. And then the next following week, she'll go, I don't have this problem. Just pick one, please. And obviously you're addicted. You're like 600 pounds. You can't be consistently addicted and then eat the way that you do, and then the next week be like, nah, I'm not addicted, guys, come on. Emotional eating, and I already know what's gonna happen because I have some food in front of me, so. so it's like, it's just too, it, like, I didn't watch this video beforehand, and it's just like, it's too convenient for her. That's how you know there's multiple clips, because it's not even the clip that I was originally talking about, dude. This is a completely different clip. So, for her to sit there and say, like, I am emotionally eating right now, what the fuck are you talking about? That's like literally being in an abusive relationship and going, I know you're going to uh, beat me up. You know what? The other week, right? I was walking down the street, and there was a couple on the street that I was walking on, okay? And they were holding each other, hugging or whatever, which is beautiful. The guy looked like Flavor Flay, and the girl looked like Doja Cat if she weighed hundred like 120 pounds more. And they were holding each other, and I swear to God, the statement that came out of her mouth was, I love you so much even though you beat my ass. And I thought, wow, what a beautiful relationship. What an amazing relationship to have a Flavor Flay guy and a overweight Doja Cat. 
be talking. Like, first of all, I understand that relationships are hard. I understand that relationships are very difficult to maintain. But if your man or whoever it is is beating you up, domestic violencing you, I just kind of think that maybe you shouldn't be with that person. I don't know. Is that crazy to say? I just personally don't think that you should be with somebody that beats you up unless it's the beating up that you like. I know there are, like, tons of sexual acts that people are okay with that in that indulges in the art of beating somebody up in that particular way. Like, that's probably okay. But if somebody's, like, you know, sucker punching you or using you like a dish towel, you probably don't want that, right? You probably don't want to be used in that particular type of way. So when I see somebody like Amber... In almost the same scenario when it comes to food, sitting there telling me, this is not good, this is bad for me, and I know I'm about to do it right now. Like, to me, that just kind of screams, like, what are you doing? Like, you know this is an issue, and yet you, you, seek, you don't seek out help. You consistently go down the same road over and over and over again, and you keep backtracking over and over again. I just, I don't know what's up with her. I kind of want to make this video to show you guys how it is for me on a day where I just do not care. <laughs> yeah oh yeah just like that huh just like that man dude um some days i really wish i could have that you know like today for instance i had to go food shopping and i was like man i really don't want to go food shopping i just i'm gonna keep it a buck i just don't want to go food i want to stay inside today it's a nice it's saturday right i just don't want to do it um and I, I, you know what I did? I, I looked out my kitchen. I realized I had no food. <laughs> I had no food. I had no water. And I decided, you know, I can't. I can't not do it. So I had to tough up and I had to go to the grocery store and I had to indulge myself in the art of looking at aisles and buying things that I didn't want to buy, but I had to buy. So I did it already. Like there are plenty of things in life that you don't want to do. I don't want to do, but we have to do it because if we don't do it, then we're going to die or something else would happen that's dramatic. And Oftentimes, we have other people worrying about us. It's not just solely based off of, you know, you or, um, you know, maybe even somebody close to you, but like multiple somebodies that are close to you. So you have to do it. For somebody like Amber, I don't know how much non-responsibility she has to sit there and say, I know this is bad, but I don't care. Like that to me is crazy. Like that's really insane to me. That's like you being in a relationship with a girl and you're like outside of a bathroom and your girlfriend's going babe i love you you're so great your hair looks so amazing i think your skin is delectable and you go thank you babe now excuse me while i go into this bathroom and perform fellatio on any man that puts his penis through this glory hole i don't care like i know that i love you and i know that you're my everything but i'm going to lick the rim of this glory hole because i don't care that's the same thing i'm seeing here like you're just sitting here telling me that it's bad it's not good but you don't care all right, all right, Amber. I mean, at least you're honest, right? I mean, but she's not honest all the time. She literally is honest for like one video and the next like following 18 videos are not honest at all. I want to eat all my feelings. True. I want to binge. I feel possessed for the whole day. Like I don't care, like I'm not- Isn't myself. it crazy how she can like, isn't it crazy how she can talk about this so openly before it even happens? Like, isn't that crazy to me? That's, uh, that's, I, 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 it's just so, it's so transparent that it actually kind of scares me a little bit. It's kind of like I'm on the outside watching myself. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of what that You're obviously not on the outside watching yourself. You're, you're literally telling me that you're about to do it. Like, you acknowledge it to be bad. You know it's not good. And yet you're still saying, I'm going to do it. Like, okay, I mean, I guess, dude. <laughs> I guess. Like, for me... Um, I don't want anyone to be upset with me for binging. I know that's what is going to happen. I, what are you talking about? I don't want anybody to be upset with me. That you, that's like somebody going like, don't have any expectations for me. If I kill people, don't be upset. I don't know why you would be upset. Just stop being upset. I don't want anybody to be upset. You can't just say that. You can't just be like, I'm going to go cheat on my partner, but I don't want you to be upset with me. What? Dude, you can't say that. Doesn't even make sense. Like, I don't want a lot of things to transpire. I don't want to spend money and then look at my bank account and see that that money is not there anymore. I want that money to stay there. Not only do I not, not only do I want that money to stay there, but I want all the money. I want all the money all the time, no matter what. Do you see? Like, that's stupid. That's just dumb. And I get, like, what you're saying. Like, you don't want to be held responsible for your own decisions, but that's kind of, like, how it works. But as someone who is sharing her journey on YouTube, do know that binging will forever be a part of my life damn <laughs> damn that's crazy bro just like that huh my psychologist has to 
beat that in my head that, you know, I'm not just gonna not binge. It's something I'm gonna suffer with forever. But the time frame of relapses in between should get lengthier and lengthier and lengthier. I just know people are gonna be upset with me and that's just unfortunate. You weigh a pound, so I'm not even up a pound, but I know it's because I weighed myself so much earlier than usual. I didn't get as much sleep and like just the mixture of things is just a fluctuation, but I'm okay with that because I'm still down 2.8 pounds in three days. Um, Which means nothing to be honest. Like if you're down two pounds in what'd she say? Like a week or two days or whatever. It almost doesn't matter because the amber cycle determines that if she does lose any weight, that weight will then be amplified by a magnitude of like 10. So if she loses two pounds, she's probably going to gain back 20 by the end of a week or two. So I can't even imagine the amount of weight that Amberlynn has actually lost in her life. Like think about the amount of times that she's gained all that weight and then lost weight. How much of that weight can we just say that she lost, right? Probably thousands of pounds, right? Like can you imagine losing 100 pounds? like fucking a, a, a hundred times and doing that so many, like over and over and over and over again. I mean, realistically, our girl has lost a lot of weight and it's really sad because she has absolutely no progress to show from that. But the point I'm making is it's it's actually inspirational in a way. But for somebody like Amber, it's just the consistency that hurts her. The consistency of not doing it over and over again and like maintaining it, just not, like, she knows a lot about nutrition, which is really sad. Like, she understands that these things are not good for you. She understands that these are bad things, but she doesn't care. Or, like, I guess what tends to happen is that you don't look at it as, like, a problem. You probably think it's bad for, like, the first two or three days. And then after those first two or three days, you're like, whatever. Like, <laughs> whatever, dude. Like, whatever, man. I don't need to do that shit. It's like when you spend money. Like, for the first week, you spend money, right? And then you're like, oh, man, I shouldn't have spent that. That shit was bad. But then you're like fuck it like you know fuck it dude it's whatever like it doesn't really matter does it it does matter especially if we're talking about somebody that is in destit like that's financially destitute like somebody that has absolutely no money that's perpetually taking out debt paying credit cards with credit cards that's not good but if we're, especially if we're talking about somebody that's literally on death's door consistently because they can't stop themselves from eating and that's really fucking sad dude i'm okay with that like that's whole true true dude that because I'm still down 2.8 pounds in three days. Um, I'm okay with that. Like, that's totally fine. It's a little discouraging. Normally, when something like this happens, I'm just like, I'm going to eat whatever I want. I'm going to... Mm. It puts me in, like, a binging, like, state of... You lose two pounds and you're like, I can eat whatever I want now? What are you talking about? How does that even make sense? You didn't even really do shit. Like, two pounds is... It's something. It's something. I'll give you that. It is something. Two pounds out of, like, 600, though uh it would be two pounds for me might be i right. like even but me even me i think i could probably lose two pounds in like a day if i really tried to man if i like really put my heart and soul into it i think i could probably easily lose 10 pounds in probably a week but i mean maybe i'm wrong dude i don't know. mind but i'm not gonna let that happen today all this was just food for one day dude what the hell is this on the top this looks gross okay oh man this food hall was just was just eye-opening to me to sit for her to sit there and say that she's not gonna like bow down to her her eating things and she's gonna be better and then to sit there the, the same day and buy whatever she's buying here the red barons by the way i feel like are people sleep on the red barons i think they're pretty good pizzas dude i think a lot of people sleep on the it, the quality is not the best but then again like what are you even talking about like pizza is pizza for the most part there's very few times you can fuck up pizza frozen pizza i'm perfectly fine with like i don't care dude um but she got a lot of food here and especially for somebody that's saying that she doesn't want to like eat a lot of food there's a lot here so becky and i went to kroger's and i just got something for tonight because i know i'm gonna be hungry later so i got this bread. like okay just because you're gonna be hungry later does that mean that you you buy like really really bad disgusting foods like if you know you're gonna be hungry later which everybody knows you're gonna be hungry later wouldn't it be better to then go to the grocery store and buy something that you know is going to maintain you through the hunger? So, like, I don't know, like, low-calorie alternatives that are going to fill you up more? Like, there are plenty of foods out there that do that. There are plenty of foods that are low-calorie, that are very, very, like, like fill-you-up type, type foods, like fruits and vegetables and things like that, and even other things, like protein chips. I don't know. There's, like, a bunch of foods, but for some reason, nah. Like, it's never that. It's always something else. Bread. I love that type of bread with sandwiches. Um, where is it? Motherfucker, where is it? Where the is it? Okay, I also got. Damn. I'm gonna be eating these later. This is 
six big cup Reese's. He didn't need this shit. 200 per what? Per package? One of these is serving, so it's 200 per serving, and she's six is the six of these. So a hundred, so like a thousand two hundred calories for the whole thing. A thousand two hundred calories for the whole thing. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, but not not something I'm surprised at, dude. I mean, for somebody like Amber, 200 calories per six of them. Uh, I'm not surprised, dude. Uh, I could probably eat two of these. I could not body slam any more of them. But to put it in perspective, two of these would be like a meal. Two of these would be literally a meal for most people. But uh, for her, probably nothing. I'm probably going to eat all of them or just like... That's, that's crazy as fuck. That is such a crazy ass statement to be like, I'm going to eat all of them. Like five or something. Um, I'm going to eat five is even crazier given that there's six of them. You might as well go for that sixth one then. And then this is the lunch meat I like to use. Rotisserie seasoned deli fresh. Okay. So I use that, two of them. I didn't get fries or anything and I got a Sprite. So, okay, Damn. so here is- Damn, the whole bread just for yourself is crazy. You couldn't even cut that shit in half? The, the whole bun was just for herself? My final meal, the sandwich and bun it's, it's all about the things that she doesn't say is what I've tended to peep with for somebody like Amber is that when she says like, oh, this is my final, this is my final meal. That doesn't mean that she's not going to include snacks or like the meals that she doesn't count as meals or like maybe even like the chips or whatever, dude, or maybe even licking the drywall for a little bit. Doesn't count as a meal for her. So she's just going to eat whatever she wants and never take anything serious. It's really, it really is about the things that she doesn't say. And sometimes even when she says like, this is my final meal of the day. That actually might not even be true because she could possibly make another meal and then be like, oh, yeah, well, I mean, even though I said that was a final meal, it really wasn't that big or really didn't fill me up. So I'm just going to go ahead and body another one. Like, I mean, it's not that bad, right? But it is that bad, Amber. And in the sandwich, Dang. that's what that looks like. Where's the lettuce at? If you're making a sandwich at the crib, dude, with a lettuce, um, I'm going to need some onion on that, dude, a little bit. Just a little bit of onion, just a little bit on some turkey. What you talking about, dude? Let me get some onions. Give me, give me, give me a little bit of crunch. It, for me personally, I'm okay with mayonnaise, but for somebody like Amber, maybe not the best, especially knowing that the sauces are what oftentimes do get people into those uh, high calorie serving sizes, dude. Like I see a lot of people struggling with the calories on that. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is like an extra 100, 200, 300 calories on the, on the, the mayonnaise, but there's not even cheese on this shit either, dude, which I guess is a good thing. But then again, I guess it doesn't matter because the bun itself is probably like 400 calories easily. I like my sandwich is pretty plain and we have a eat. <laughs> Like I said, my last hurrah. It's not even the, you know what's crazy? She'll say that it's the last hurrah. Hamburger helper is crazy, bro. You eating this shit as a fucking snack? Two, two, two big ass servings of, of, of soda? Damn, dude, and the Almond Joys? That's a big ass thing of Almond Joys too. I got some Almond Joys. Some is crazy, Amber. That's a 12 pack. Some is not, no, that's not some, that's a lot. I haven't had these in forever. Three days, maybe three days. I hated them as a little girl, but I love them now. For dinner, Becky and I are gonna have some hamburger helper. Why hamburger helper? Is there not anything else in your entire house that you can probably put in your mouth to satisfy the craving, the urges? No, there's just nothing. Like you don't have anything else, dude, because like I'm convinced that you do. There are plenty of, like, if I'm, if I go in my fridge right now, there's, like, 15 meals that I can make right now, and I don't even have a lot of food. Like, I, I got what I need, uh, until the middle of the month when I go food shopping again. Loved this as a little girl. That's, just was a go-to when I was living with my parents. And I got a Dr. Pepper and a Sprite Zero, so that is everything. Damn. It, it really, it really comes down to the money for a lot of these people in terms of how they're able to eat the way that they are. I see way too many times people that are in these positions where they're able to buy whatever the fuck they want. They tend to abuse it. And I feel like I've never really had this, that before. I've never really had options to spend a lot of money. Like I've always been perpetually poor in my life. So whenever I get money, I, I tend to hoard it as much as I possibly can because I never know what's gonna happen. Or like in a month from now, if I need that money, I, I, I at least I got it then. So like I tend to hoard my money as much as I possibly can. Like I remember, when I had to pay taxes at the start of this year, I remember my friend was like, 
oh, David, um, how much is your taxes? I was like, oh, it's like this much. And he was like, do you have that? And I was like, yeah, like, of course, yeah. <laughs> of course I do. Of, of course I do, man. Yes, naturally, of course I do. Um, it, it's just like, it freaks me out when people don't have money. When you don't have money to, um, when you need that. When you need the extra oomph for that little, like, push to get you over to that next time period or whatever, the it, it freaks me out for other people, but I, I will never, if I have, if I have like strength or whatever, dude, I, I would never put myself in a scenario like that. Sure, you can have money on your credit card or whatever, but that's not technically your money, right? I know a lot of people do use your credit card like it's their money, but I don't like doing that. So for me, I'm always going to be saving my money and things like that. I find little to no value in eating out, literally almost no value at all. Uh, I prefer to make my food at my, at my at the crib. I like going food shopping. Uh, you know, if I'm going by myself, because I can actually go and like get my shit. I know where everything is. I'm in and out of the grocery store inside of maybe 20 minutes at most, and I'm back home within 30. Like, I'm if I'm leaving and coming back, 30 minutes. I don't know why so many people go to the grocery store at like it's a holiday escape or something. Like you're going on vacation. Like how many times can you look in the frozen food section before you realize you don't want anything in there? It's the same shit every single time. They're not anything and adding anything new. I don't know why so many people are like, wow, um, look what they got, David. Yeah, that shit was there like a year ago. It's been there for a whole year. I don't know what you're talking about. But uh, for somebody like Amber, I think she has too much money. I think she has too much money and nothing to do with it i know she uh i know she plays with legos which i feel like is a better expense like if you're sitting here and your money is just perpetually burning a hole in your pocket and you just have nothing to do with it buy those really expensive lego sets that would be way better for you than spending it like on ginormous serving sizes of food like can we just be honest for a second dude i would what is she like the harry potter ones dude buy the daniel radcliffe set i don't know dude whatever just buy the set of the man that cannot be said or whatever his name is voldemort buy that dude that's way better than spending all your money on like copious and copious and copious amounts of food dude share certain things but she I hates tammy for this i feel like i feel it and i feel it and it's just my opinion smells like jealousy. watching tammy lemon lately sorry now i'm rambling uh tammy by the way is a my 600 pound life contestant or i guess the 1000 pound sisters if you guys don't know about them um, they were very, very overweight and obese. They were both very, very overweight, obese. But nowadays, um, they're looking pretty good. <laughs> they lost a lot of weight, a lot. Good job for them because I, I think at their most, they were like 500 pounds each or 600 pounds each, and they managed to lose all the weight, which is actually incredible, actually really motivational for like a lot of people. So good for them. And I guess Amber was like really, really upset by that because she never had the ability to do it herself. Um, I've been watching Tammy Lemon lately ever since she started doing Vlogmas and like she's very open about her binging people are supportive of that and i have been open about my binging for almost a decade on youtube and i don't get the same kind of support and <laughs> pick me as fuck dude pick me as shit dude i don't care honestly like certain people can do certain things and other people just can't you know it is what it is right i never complain that i can't say the n-word out in public because i can do other stuff like not get pulled over or like not be judged based off the fact that i wear the same shoes for like three years straight or you know there are plenty of things that i can do that other people can't do and i'm okay with that like do i ever get upset when a girl can sell her feet pictures online and i can't yes all the fucking time dude sometimes i literally look down i literally look down i talk to women they go i just sold one of my vagina pictures for 20 dollars, david can you believe that and then i i sit there and i hear her say that and i look down and i go this isn't worth it like what am i doing with this this is why do i have this it's not doing anything for me this woman is selling an unlubricated vagina for 20 dollars. i don't even think my penis has done anything i don't think my penis has ever made me revenue so I guess I could be upset by that. But the point I'm making is like, you have certain traits that are very valuable and other people have certain traits they have very, very valuable and maybe they can do certain things that you can't do and that's fine. Don't be upset by that, dude. You're a different person and you have different things that have occurred. Like obviously Amber Lynn has been on the internet for over 10 fucking years. So she's built up quite a reputation. So when people hear her say something compared to somebody else who has less, you know, knowledge known by them, obviously they're gonna be a little bit more forgiving. And I wish her nothing but forever support because it gets rough out there, folks, <laughs> when you binge and you feel like shit, whether that be physically or mentally, and then you share that as on your YouTube and people attack you and they're just so horrible, which this is what happens <laughs> pretty much every day. Um, I'll wake up super motivated to lose weight, eat healthy, count my calories, and the first half of the day is great. 
and then I'm like, well, let's go out to eat. She has no, like, motivation, I feel like. Like, she has no drive. It's just too easy for her to cave and suffer no consequences for it at all. And you guys might be thinking the cancer was consequences, or you guys might be thinking the feeling bad in general were the consequences, or the lipedema, or whatever. But to her, it's not, because she's not feeling those things right away. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that stuff is accruing over time. So... Like, if you put your hand in the oven and it's hot and you touch the oven, sah, right? That, that's so you know, don't touch the oven. But for somebody like Amber, like, she's not seeing the problems until maybe a month, two months, a year, four years later. So when she does that, she's not getting that, ah, she's not getting that. Her hands are just in the oven as the oven slowly starts to cook. It's like that frog. The frog analogy where you put a frog in a water uh, and you turn up the heat, but you do it slowly enough. And then eventually the frog doesn't move because it's just like it doesn't really feel or register that it's getting cooked. It's like that for Amber Lynn. Like she's perpetually just cooking herself and doesn't realize that she doesn't realize that it's hurting until like way, 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 way later till it's too late. And, you know, I'll count my calories no matter what I get, which once I get there, I overdo it as you guys saw. And then I tell myself, I, won't, I just won't eat for the rest of the night. I sit there and lie to myself over and over. I'm like, oh, I got this, I got this. Like, you know, I had my breakfast, I had a big meal. I don't need to eat at all for the rest of the night. I'm fine for hours. I'm talking, I'm fine for literally hours. Probably six hours later, and I'm ready to eat the house. Damn, dude, what a crazy ass statement. Eat the house is a, uh, wow, Be beautiful display of words. And like, it just comes down to like, she's not suffering any of the consequences of her actions, dude. Nobody's gonna tell her no. And because she's perpetually in relationships where she can just abuse the person that she's with, or not abuse, but it would be abuse to like almost anybody else. Like most people would look upon that and go, yeah, this is abuse, like obviously. So she's like walking over the people, nobody's telling her no. And she ultimately needs to be the person that tells herself no. It can't be, a, it can't be somebody that you're dating that tells you no. You need to be the one that actually does that because like you're a grown woman, dude. You, you should be the one that does it yourself. Stop relying on so many, so, stop relying on other people and then being mad when they don't do it for you. You're a grown ass woman, dude. Take care of your own shit. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. So if you watched the video uh, and you liked it, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a, a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, helps me grow in the algorithm. So if anybody can do any of that stuff for me, I'd appreciate you tremendously. Thank you for anybody that has already subscribed. By the way, 0% of you guys are subscribed, so make sure you do that. And also thank you everybody that is subscribed, everybody that is a member of the channel. You guys are amazing, beautiful, spectacular, awesome people. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in Lego, because I have a Lego right here. It's a clone trooper, shock trooper, but it's a Lego nonetheless. Leave Lego, L-E-G-O, down below in the comment section, and I'll acknowledge how beautiful and how amazing, how spectacular you are. And by the way, yes, you are all those things. You are simultaneously all these things and more. You are way more. You're responsible. You take care of yourself. You care for yourself in ways that I feel like most people probably don't. And that is amazing. Taking care of yourself is one of the best things you can do, especially for yourself and other people around you. So good job on taking care of yourself, you amazing, beautiful person, you. But anyway, uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all that stuff will be listed down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.